Hi folks, Sandro here with more cartoon news and shenanigans. And today we're watching the trailer that just dropped yesterday. So March 6th, I'm recording this on March 7th. This just dropped. I wanted to do a reaction to DC League of Super Pets, the brand new trailer. And uh, we're going to watch it in a second. I just wanted to talk about the day this is releasing. So I actually wa uh, read through the description here. There's a lot of shit in here, by the way. <laughs> But uh, the important thing is, is that it's releasing internationally on the 18th of May. And here in North America, it's releasing uh, on May 20th. So two days. There's a two-day discrepancy. Internationally, they're getting it first on the 18th. We're getting it here in Canada and America on May 20th. My theory on this is that there's a holiday here in Canada. I don't know if there's a holiday in America around May 20th, but uh, here in Canada, it's called the... Uh, no, oh, I almost said the Civic Holiday. No, no, no. It's called Victoria Day. Victoria Day. And it's also otherwise known as the May 2-4 weekend here in Canada. May 2-4 weekend. So my thought process is they want more money, they're moving the date just a little bit over so they could get the weekend, the big, big weekend here in Canada. A lot of people, they're going to restaurants, they're going, they're out, they're going out with their families, and there's a good chance they might just say, let's go to the theaters and see what's playing in theaters. They go to the theaters and they're like, whoa, DC has superhero pets. You know, a lot of people like superheroes, a lot of people like dogs. You put them together, and I think this is a really good family-friendly movie. I'm looking here. I see 2 million people watch this in one day. That's a lot of – uh, well, I mean, they have 10 million subs, but still, getting one-fifth of your subscriber base to watch it, you know, 2 million people. I feel like there's hype. I feel like there's excitement, and there's interest in this film. So I do want to watch the trailer here. I'm going to give you guys my brief reactions. It's only a minute long. It's not long. Let's, uh, I do flip it around here. See, I, I have it flipped so uh, I don't get copyright claimed. Uh, I've been getting a lot of copyright claims recently. I don't know what the heck's going on, but uh, I just did a video on green eggs and ham and it got copyright claims. So, goddamn. Let's get into it, folks. This so, summer, you are a this dog. Summer. This is Keanu I Reeves. The Batman. I'm not really great with animals. Yeah, I'm Kevin not Hart. People. Oh yeah. Because of my traumatic puppy. This is Ace, as right? Child, my family was taken from me. As a puppy, I was taken from my family. <laughs> so I steal myself. My emotions always in check. No one ever getting, getting past my impenetrable defenses. Wow. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> that can't be sanitary. Okay. There's crypto. Every day, me and Suits hang out. So this is, uh, by the way, this is um, Dwayne the Ro right here. Dwayne Johnson stars as the voice of Crypto the Super Dog. So that is him. Uh, this is pretty good. They have a lot of big name actors in here. I think Keanu Reeves was the big hit here. I I am sick of Dwayne the Rock Johnson. This guy is in every goddamn genre, every movie. I'm sick of it. You know, he's in the superhero films. He's even in the Disney princess films in that goddamn Moana. <laughs> what movie genre hasn't this guy got into? You know, racing. He's in racing. Just uh, stop it. I've had enough of Dwayne the Rock Johnson. You know, his, his career peaked at the Scorpion <laughs> <laughs> the Scorpion King was his Magnus Opum. Okay, I've had enough of him. Ever since the Scorpion King, it's all downhill from there. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm just sick of seeing Dwayne. I, I'm, I really am. I really mean it. I'm sick of seeing Dwayne. Can we stop putting Dwayne in everything, please? As for Keanu, I, I'm actually, I actually really like Keanu. He's had a resurgence in recent years. John Wick 3, there's going to be a John Wick 4, he was in that new Matrix movie, that did, I heard it was really bad, but okay, and uh, the Spongebob, yeah, Sponge on the Run, he was the tumbleweed in that movie, uh, so Keanu Reeves is getting around the block here, it seems like, yeah, um, but yeah, I'm grateful to see Keanu Reeves, as for Kevin Hart as Ace the Bat Hound, or whatever the heck, uh, I think he makes a great uh, dog character here. I actually think Kevin Hart is hilarious. I think he's a really, really funny guy. Uh, definitely funny. I, I, I think, you know, honestly, if they ever remake Rush Hour, okay. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> 
if they ever make Rush Hour 4 and um, what was the other, what was Jackie Chan and uh, something to Chris Tucker, right? Is that what was that his name? If, if they ever make a reboot of that and like Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker like pass away or something, uh, Chris Hart would be the best Chris Tucker ever. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I would definitely see actually, what about an animated rush hour movie? That'd be really cool. Rush hours. And why am I talking about rush hour? Okay. God damn it. Kevin Hart. He's a good, uh, voice actor. And I think he does really good here. There he is. Kevin Hart. Technically he flies. Okay. There's a pig there. Except for Robin. And Alfred, Commissioner Gordon, my IT crew, whoever Morgan Freeman played. What do I have here? <gasps> Squeezy Bruce. Squeezy what? Who did Morgan Freeman play? Hold on a second here. Uh, Morgan uh, Freeman Batman. What was the uh, what was the name of the character? Morgan Freeman. Uh, he portrayed Lucius Fox. Yeah, 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 that's that character. Lucius Fox is kind of like the technology guy that makes a bunch of gadgets and stuff. Uh, he's kind of a newer. I, I don't remember this character. Uh, I, I obviously I the Dark Knight is fantastic, but like, do we really need a Morgan or not Morgan? <laughs> I almost said, do we do we even need Morgan Freeman? No, 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 no. Do we even need Lucius Fox though? What does he do? Like, I, I would rather Batman make his own inventions. I don't know. I I feel like it cheapens the character with this whole Lucius Fox character. Uh, I think in the Batman comics, Lucius Fox's son. Uh, takes over the mantle of Batman even. I think there was a story like that. Or he's trying to be, he's in training to become a Robin or the next Batman or something. Uh, yeah, so very interesting what they've been doing with this character and his son. But like, do we really need them? <laughs> probably not. You know, that's probably why Batman just made that joke there. Let's go back to that joke. You worship the ground that dude walks on. Technically, Batman walks. lists off all the people Batman that know his... Alone. Except for Robin. And oh, sorry. Alfred. Yeah, he works alone, except for Alfred and Robin and all these people. Commissioner Gordon, my Lush. IT crew, whoever Morgan Freeman played. Whoever, Lucius what Fox. Do I have here? <gasps> Squeezy Bruce. <laughs> Squeezy what? That better be a licensed toy or I will freak <laughs> out. <laughs> wow, uh, this doesn't even look bad. I, this looks good. What the heck? Uh, yeah, I, I was laughing here. I was having a good time. This is a good movie. I, I Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to watch this one. Wow, okay. Maybe it's because I'm a DC fan, okay? But um, very interesting. Very, very interesting stuff. It seems the dogs can't talk to humans. I, I don't know. This might... Okay, here's the problem. Anytime there's a movie with dogs or pets, they always do this thing where either the animals can talk to the humans... Or the animals can only talk to other animals, right? So something like Life of uh, Secret Life of Pets or uh, Charlotte's Web. Charlotte's Web, really old school uh, animated movie. And I think they made it 3D also, right? Um, but yeah, Charlotte's Web, the humans only, like they can't understand the animals, but the animals can understand, I guess, the humans and the other animals. So they, they kind of do this in any movie that has pets, and uh, so that's what seems to be the case here because I noticed they said Squeaky Bruce, which would just give away his identity, right? That would, you know, they would know who Bruce Wayne is. So <laughs> that's actually something interesting I never thought about. If there was a dog villain, if Bruce Wayne had a dog villain, couldn't he just smell Bruce Wayne and then smell Batman and be like, they have the same scent? And then they could figure out Batman's scent by, you know, and who they could basically uncover his secret identity just from their nose, which is really cool. Um, yeah, we, that could be a new comic. I could see that happening. Some kind of like dog man. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, wait, there already is a dog man. Oh my God. There's that children's book. Dog man. Uh, dog man. Yeah. Yeah. Dog man by the uh, captain underpants. Da Dave, uh, Dave Pickley. How the hell do you say this guy's name? Da Dav? <laughs> Dav Pilkey? Or it's either Dave Pilkey or something like that. Yeah. Dogman. This is a very good selling book. I always see this at Walmart. It's it's huge. Uh, no joke. This is literally... This is outselling Batman comics. Can you believe that? Uh, pretty wacky. Pretty, pretty wacky. But yeah. I could see Batman having some kind of dog villain though. That would be pretty cool. Uh, that can smell him and uh, figure out who the heck he is. But without further ado, guys, I'm just going to end the video and say this looks good. 
I'm going to watch this. I don't know if I'm going to review it. I, I don't know if this is review worthy, but uh, I, I had fun here for the minute that we shared together. <laughs> I had a lot of fun and uh, I, I actually really want to see this. I want to see what the plot is. Um, I think I read somewhere that the, the Justice League gets kidnapped and it's up to the dogs to free them. How did they capture the Flash, though? <laughs> you know, <laughs> did you guys ever see the Justice League cartoon from back in the day, where like the Flash can vibrate through things? Like, how the hell did they capture the Flash? He's the fastest man alive. How would you catch him? Uh, so I guess we got to see how the Flash was caught. Uh, I, I'm pretty interested here, folks. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys are going to be watching this movie. Uh, are you going to be watching it on the May two four weekend? You know, here in Canada. Or in America, is there even a holiday? You got to let me know. Let me know. Is there a holiday around May 20th in America? And uh, yeah, thanks, folks. Please subscribe, by the way. That's a, yeah, please like, please share, and please subscribe. I think we're two subs, two subs away from 700, which is really exciting, folks. Thank you very much. Peace out. Bye bye. Have a great day.